Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and today I want to share with you a simple DIY, how to make your own water polisher. So please stay tuned. This is my 75 gallon mixed African cichlid aquarium. I have this aquarium overstocked. In 75 gallons of water, I have 40 cichlids. It's not a problem as I have enough filtration to handle the heavy bio load. I do a regular water change every five to seven days. It depends on my schedule for the week, but I never go past the seven day mark. I change 70% of my water and top up the tank midweek. I don't test my water as often as I did in the past, but I know my parameters and I always have excellent water quality. Running a canister filter and reticulated sponge filter give this aquarium all the filtration I need. Added to that, I run a water polisher at each end of my aquarium. Now I have been using power heads for added surface agitation, but I'm finding using the power heads as water polishers still gives me the agitation I need and polishes the water at the same time. You can purchase a diatome filter or water polisher, but it's really not necessary as you can easily set one up by just using a power head. You can also purchase the micromedia pads for a hefty price or use quilt batting and get the same results for less than one quarter of the cost. We are always looking for ways to improve our systems yet doing so in money saving ways. This, in my opinion, is the best filter to rid your water of microparticles, and it's very cost-effective to boot. This is an average power head, and this is what we are going to use to make a water polisher. I love these because they are so versatile. You can use them as a wave maker and many other ways to create surface agitation for your fish. This is the use we're going to be implementing in our polisher. So these are the pieces you'll need. The power head, the bracket that holds it securely against the glass with suction cups, and the flow direction spout. Taking the power head, you attach the bracket with the suction cups. Now you can mount it on the back or the side of the power head. I prefer the side as it is a lower profile in my tank. And then with the directional spout, I can turn it any way that I want. Next, we need a bottle. The bottle I use is from Cider Vinegar. I like it because it's black and it blends in. Now you can just use a simple water bottle and it will fit perfectly. This one is already cut for use. I just cut the neck off and then I cut the bottom open. Now you can take the power head and see if that it doesn't fit tightly. So to make it fit, I use the extension tube that came with the power head and affix it with electrical tape. Then it fits perfectly. This is the fluff I use. It's quilt batting. I get the roll for a king size bed. It's 120 inches by 120 inches of 100% virgin polyester. You cannot use anything cheaper. This entire bag cost me a total of $13.95. I also use this in all my canister filters. It's quite a lot on this roll. It's folded to be four layers thick. I just roll out a little and then I just tear off what I need. It pulls apart very easily. So I just pull a small piece that I'm going to use for the polisher. This is about all I will need for this polisher. So I'll just roll this up and get it out of the way. 
there. Now I have two ply. So I, all I do is lay one over the other. Then I fold up the bottom edge and roll it up loosely. Once I have it all rolled up nice and loose, I just slide it into the bottle of my polisher. Here is the water polisher all set up. Using the cider bottle, being black, it's hardly noticeable in my aquarium at all. If you're using a water bottle, it will fit perfectly and you will have no need to use the extension tube to make an adjustment. Now I am going to go and get the water polisher that has been in my African Cichlid Aquarium since this morning. I did a water change and then I put my water polisher in. So keep in mind, this was right after the tank had a water change and it's only been about six to seven hours. This is how dirty the polisher is. I'm sorry I didn't get a better shot of the polisher, but it's right there on the left. In my African Cichlid tank, I have one at each end. I change the fluff every couple days. You will know when it needs changing as you will be able to hear it. I have one running at all times in all four of my show tanks. I don't use any chemical media such as Purigen or Chemi Pure Blue as I don't need it. Setting up this polisher is simple and very effective. This is one of my favorite DIYs as it makes the biggest difference for the least amount of money. So until next time, this is Dick Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.